everybody, and welcome to the first episode uh, in the three-part series of the marker storage uh, made from the Capri Sun box. Uh, at the beginning of this video, you saw a slide of the supply list that you'll need for this class, as well as uh, a few pictures of the completed object. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our box assembled properly. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm not sure that we'll finish it because I only want these videos to be 10 minutes long or so. Uh, so, you know, we'll go as far as we can today. What you're going to need is you're going to need one of the markers that you're completing the storage for. I'm using these Marvy LaPlume markers and what I want to do is I want to find out how big my marker is because that's I need to make my storage about an inch smaller than my marker or three quarters of an inch somewhere in there whatever you're you know whatever you're thinking uh, my first one was about an inch smaller these markers are five and a half inches wide and um, I made my first storage at four and a half and um, I'm going to do the same with these so I'm going to make this storage at four and a half as well so what I want to do and you can use a black marker or whatever it doesn't matter is I'm going to mark this box at four and a half inches from the edge and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that several places and I'm going to just draw a straight line so I have a place to cut and you see me do something similar to this when I was making um, the burlap cover covered storage um, that I made for my uh, supplies so I'm just going to go ahead and just do that, and then I'll just probably just sketch this line because it's not too far. Uh, you do want them to be fairly even, though, so just keep that in mind. You want it to be close to right on. Okay. And I just want to carry that line over just a little bit. Uh, make another dot here, four and a half. And another one. And then try and connect those if they're close. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to connect these two now. Do yourself a favor, though, if you haven't done this before, to use your straight edge so that you know that you're cutting a straight line. Okay, so now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sawing motion and I'm going to just push my blade in and use a new blade um, if you if yours is old. And I'm just going to use a sawing motion and just cut right down my line. And see I got a little off there so I need to correct that. Because you do want this to be fairly straight. Your trim will cover it but um, you know as straight as you can get it. And just use the um, sawing motion. And if you go offline, just try and, and correct it. It's no big deal. I did it right there, and I've done it here too. Okay, and then you're going to just go around. And that's the hard, the corners are the hardest parts because there's more. Uh, cardboard there. Okay, so now I have my completed side, and this is one portion that you're going to need. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glide down on this um, flap so I can do the same thing so I have two compartments. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hot glue here and I'm just going to put a dollop right here and a dollop right here. Okay, and then I'm going to close this, so I'm going to hold it tight on both sides uh, just for a second so I know that that adheres really good. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it, I'm going to put my hot glue here again. And I'm going to put it here again on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to close this flap. And in order to make sure that it adheres, I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to press down in here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to measure this side. And I want this to be four and a half again. So I'm going to just take a marker or a pen or whatever you want. I'm going to measure it four and a half. 
and do the same thing so that I can have this cut at the same size. Okay, and I'm going to go all the way around and do that. I'll probably fast forward through here. I'm sorry about the sniffling too. I have a cold. My daughter gave me a cold. I got a cold for Christmas. Yay! Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing here and I'm just going to cut this out. Make sure you use a sawing motion. I found that that's the quickest and easiest way to get this done. And I also found that by doing this, it's the fastest way to stay on your line as well. because I did get off just a little bit, but I'll trim that up once I get this all sawed off. Okay, now I have that all completed and I'm just gonna, I've got just a little bit here that I need to take off because I was a little outside the line. Okay, so now I have two pieces and these are going to become the two portions of your marker storage. So in order to do that, we need to glue these guys together. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue gun again and I'm going to use a lot. Really lay it on there thick. Um, you got to be quick here because it'll start to dry. If it dries up on you at all, just use your heat gun um, to melt it again so you don't have to use more glue. Okay, and then just press them together, line them up, and press them together. Now, Capri Sun boxes sometimes get smushed a little bit, so you kind of have to press it into shape if yours is a little off. See, mine's a little off here, but I'm not worried about it. To me, that doesn't, I don't really care. I mean, this is homemade storage. I want it to look good, but I know in my mind that it's not going to be perfect. Okay, so now I have two sections of this box, okay? And so I'm going to be able to make two layers of marker storage, just like in the original that I did. Now, right now, what you need to do is you need to figure out what you're going to cover this with so that you can move on to the next step. I, on my last one, used fabric, and on this one, I think I'm going to use the die cuts with the view adhesive paper. So my box right here, I can cover it just like this. I don't have to worry about um, making sure that this uh, coloring and the designs and everything come through. Now, if you're going to use fabric and your fabric is... a Tiny, even just a tiny bit sheer, you're going to need to either paint this or apply a coat of gesso. Um, maybe even two. I My last one I used two coats because I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, that you couldn't see this design through on my fabric. Okay, so um, right now if you're going to use fabric that's sheer and you're not going to use paper, you need to paint your box. Okay, so go ahead and get that done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop here. Um, when we come back tomorrow, you will have need to have painted your boxes and dried. Um, if you're going to use a sheer fabric and not a paper, because you don't want your designs to show through. So when we come back on Wednesday, sorry, when we come back on Wednesday, you're going to want to have your boxes all painted. And on Wednesday, you're going to need either cardboard for your dividers, or you're going to need a sheet of chipboard. And then um, you are also going to need your feet because we'll be assembling those. And then you're also going to need whatever you're going to cover it with, okay? Because we're going to get the box covered and the feet on and possibly the inserts done on Wednesday. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.